If you've never gotten into the book of Psalms, I urge you to do so. It's a large portion of the Old Testament. 150 different, not chapters, but divisions of Psalms. They're full of power. They're full of strength. And today, we're going to spend some time in one of those. And you'll see why as we get into it. And I want you to remember these chapters and read them for yourself after this tape is over. And that's Psalm 34, the 34th Psalm. One verse we're looking at is verse 3. O magnify the Lord with me, and let us exalt his name together. To magnify is to make large, exalt. Let us tell others of the goodness, of the mercy, of the greatness, of the compassion, the never-ending love that my God has. Now, why is that? Because too many people in the world really don't know anything about God. They think he's, look, he's watching them to catch them to doing wrong. No, no. Before you ever thought about God, he has definitely thought about you. He's trying to make circumstances in your life that will start to get you to realize that he's chasing after you because he loves you and he wants you to surrender your life to him. So like I said, magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together as a group, as you meet in a church group or a group of Christians together. To exalt the name of the Lord. Now, verse 8 and verse 9. O taste and see that the Lord is good. Many of you out there have heard that Christians do this and they believe this and this happened and that happened. But it's never happened to you. So you don't know what really does happen when you surrender your life. To Jesus Christ. I mean everything. You don't hold back this or that. You give him everything in your life. Why? He already knows. You know, you come to God and tell him you're a sinner. He doesn't say, oh, I didn't know that. He knows that. <laughs> he knows it. When I came to him and told him my life, he knew what it was. But taste and see for yourself that the Lord is good. Blessed is the man that trust in him, that trust in God. Blessed, that is happy, contented. Happy with his life because he trusts in Almighty God. That doesn't mean you go to church Easter, Christmas, once or twice a year. Now, going to church doesn't save anyone. And belonging to a church does not save you. And if you left that particular church, you're not necessarily lost. Church going becomes real once you become a Christian. But remember that. Taste and see that the Lord is good. That is, try it out. In Malachi, God says, you've been robbing me because you're not giving me your tithes and your offerings. Come unto me and test me out and see if I do not open the windows of heaven and give you such blessings you can hardly contain if you are faithful to me in tithes and offerings. Now down in verse 15. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. Now that doesn't mean there is a group of people different parts of the world, and they're just born righteous. They have no problems, no sin. They're born righteous. No, sorry, there is no such group. Like I just said, the Bible says we're born in sin. We're born with a desire to do wrong. And when we get a certain age, it doesn't have to be too old. You carry out those desires and you do wrong. One of the first things that shows up 
is lying and doing what is false. But those that have become righteous through a surrender of Christ, see, when you, when you belong to Jesus, the Father doesn't see you. He sees Jesus living in you. And that's wonderful. We all need Jesus actually living his life in and through our lives. Now look at verse 18. The Lord is nigh, that is close, unto them that are of a broken heart, and saves such as be of a contrite spirit. That is, you've got a broken heart, a broken spirit. You've had adversities happen, maybe not your own fault. You've lost a job. You don't have income now. You have a certain sickness. Someone has robbed you. Many things can happen that are not of your own design. But this is life, and many sins control things in this life. But God says he's close to those that are of a broken heart. Is that you out there? And he saves such as be of a contrite spirit that are just broken down by either people by events, by things that happen in their life, they're just really down and discouraged. Let me tell you, my God, the Lord, he's close to you right now. And remember in Hebrews 13, 5, if you're a Christian, God says, I will never leave you nor forsake you. He's saying, I love you too much. I'm always there. You may not know it, but I am. I'm not leaving. Now, verse 22, the Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. That is, none of them that trust in God shall be alone. We'll have to go through everything in life without any help. <clears throat> Let me tell you, my help is in the Lord. I've known that for years, and I get closer to him every day. No, I'm not perfect. I'm not sinless. But breaking that word sinless up, we will sin less as we come close to God. As he more and more fills our heart with his joy and his presence, we will sin less and we will we'll be living more according to the way he wants us to live. Let's take time right now for a prayer to God. Oh, dear God, we come in your name right now. Open our hearts to you. Those out there, may they receive you as their Lord and Savior and let you wash away every one of their sins. You'll remember their sins no more. They'll be clean and pure in your sight. And God, give them a new heart wherein righteousness dwells. A new heart based on your word, and fill us and fill them, as well as myself, with your Holy Spirit. Then we'll know the joy, all of us will know the joy of salvation in Christ. We won't just know about you, now for the first time, we will know you personally. Thank you, Lord, for coming into these people, and saving them, and giving them a new spirit. Now the thing for you to do is find a church where the word of God is preached. And from those there that know Christ, they will help you and strengthen you in your life. Lord, we pray all these things in the blessed name of Jesus. Amen and amen.